Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales, and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about Google Analytics 4 and a feature called content grouping or content groups. Very simply put, uh, you have Google Analytics to show you information about your pages and your screens. With content grouping, you can actually categorize them or group them into uh, logical groups that you can see your data in different ways. And the more ways you can actually see your data, the more you can come to conclusions and improve your website and the experience in general. So let's jump through it. I'll show you an example or two and I'll show you how to quickly set it up with Google Tag Manager and talk about some of the possibilities. Okay, so very simply put, if I go to a specific report, this is for our OneScales website, I go to engagement, I go to pages, I can see my visits based on uh, this pa the pages, right? So for example, this uh, article page got one visit and it had all this information, right? So what I can actually do, I can actually go here, instead of looking at pages, I can select here content grouping. And then I can actually see the different pages categories structured together. So let me give you an example. So I'll give you two examples. Number one is let's say my e-commerce website, I can group my pages into certain logical groups that make sense. So for example, an e-commerce site has uh, products, has categories, has checkout, and maybe some content pages like FAQs and About Us and the Lookbook and things like that. Uh, the other one, for example, for one skills is we're writing content, we're doing educational content. So for us, it's more like a blog. So blogs have collections or categories, right? Topics, blogs have uh, articles, and blogs have other kind of pages. So for us, we categorize as article, article categories, articles, pages, and then others. Uh, but whatever logical categorization you want to do, you can actually set it up yourself. So let me show you how to do it. Let me show you some basic uh, explanation. Um, so this is a link, first of all, we'll put in the YouTube uh, channel in the description about content groups. Everything we're talking about is summarized. We're summarizing what's written here, very simply put. So in order to do that, what you need to do is you need to add some kind of code to every single page to tell Google Analytics what kind of group is it. What kind of content group is it? So there's two main ways to do it. Uh, one is you can actually ask, ask a developer. On top of the Google Analytics tracking code, they can add one more line of code which says, gtag set this specific page at, uh, content group as whatever you're going to specify. So for example, they give an example here, gtag set it up as this is a men's page or maybe a men's clothing page. This is a women's, et cetera, et cetera. The other way is you can do it through a Google Tag Manager, which basically does the same, but it's a little bit easier for some of you guys out there. Some it's more difficult, some it's more easy, but I just want to show you really quickly. So uh, I'll show you what we did right here. And then if you have any questions, as always, please ask in the comments. You're not sure how to do it. You're not sure what to do. Ask us. We'll try to help uh, as best as we can. And hopefully the community also helps as well. Okay, uh, so what we did, for example, is our website uh, is a content website for one scales. We do educational content. We just started a few months back and we have articles just like a blog. So blog has topics. We have in our case, they're tags or categories. And also we have articles. So, so these are articles. Now, now what we have in common here is we actually have special URLs. So for example, a category has the word tagged in it. So we know this is a special logical URL. And then articles don't have tag, but they have the word blogs in them. So what we did, we went to Google Tag Manager. And on Google Tag Manager, we're triggering our Google Analytics for uh, tracking code on all pages. So what we did, all we basically did is in, on top of the, the code of Google Analytics 4 configuration, we just added the content group right here, just like the code says, just like we add in code, you can do it in uh, Google Tag Manager. But the only difference is you're going to add it here. And on top of the value itself, you're going to actually specify in a variable uh, what's the logic. So right here, a user defined variable, we clicked on the create and I actually specified that this is using a regex table, which is basically a very simple way of code recognizing certain patterns. And based on these patterns, for example, if it has uh, inside the URL, if it has, you see page path, which is using the URL. If it recognizes that there's the word blogs and the word tags, it'll actually categorize that the content group as article category. If it doesn't have tagged, but it has blogs in main, it'll be an article. And then anything that has the, the word pages in it will also will be tagged as pages. That's it. Other than that, you have to specify the advanced settings, ignore case on and these off. It says everything in uh, the 
description, which uh, right here will uh, share. But if you screenshot everything I did right now, you'll be able to actually do the same. Don't forget that your business logic, your URLs might be different. So it might be a little different. But again, if you have any questions you can't figure out yourself, uh, message us, say hello, and uh, we'll, we'll try to help you figure it out. Uh, now, uh, last thing about this, about this regex, if you're, you are going to do it this path, you have to figure out how to make these special codes, regex. Uh, and so the way I did it um, is I'm not so much of a developer, but I can read some code. Is I actually used ChatGPT and I gave it the logic of my URLs and I said, hey, please set it up for me. And then it gave me the patterns and I had to do some back and forth. And I did it a testing. Once I set this up, uh, I actually went to preview. I went to my pages and I checked that it actually has uh, the content group incorrectly. I made some fixes and deployed it. So I hope this uh, makes sense. Hope it's not too technical, the second part of the video. If you have any questions, let me know. I strongly recommend to have uh, content groups on your Google Analytics. We just set it up for ourselves. We're going to be using it a lot to see how people use not just specific pages uh, on our website, but also certain categories, certain themes, for example, articles or article categories for us. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe if you liked it. Please uh, like if you like it. Please share with friends. Uh, or just say hello and then we want to make a community. We want to share really valuable information. Tell me how you use Google Analytics for content grouping, other things. We're here to make a community with a lot of web related topics and many, many different categories and topics. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be talking soon. Thanks.